Johnny Gobble, you are on everybody's shit list, my friend. Anyways, guys, let's get right into it. Guys, Johnny Gobble is on J Rod's channel. So, this is actually a video that J Rod actually did have on his channel. And J Rod went on to talk about some things in this video that I never thought that actually J Rod would speak on, guys. I'm talking legal terms that Ryan of Church could actually take and sue Johnny Gobble for defamation and slander. Yes, it comes from J Rod, guys. We're actually going to listen to the part, audio part of J-Rod only, guys. I'm not going to go into this video with Dad Burn because he does nothing but lie and spill. He's Dad Burn, guys. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Actually, seems like it's on allegations here that implicates Chris Crot and Ryan Upchurch and illegal criminal activities and also Ryan Upchurch. Allegedly being the leader of Chris Quack Gang. Okay, well, right off the bat, guys, you see where this is going. Absolutely see where this is going, guys. This is going absolutely nowhere. We've heard this before. We've heard people talk about it, about Chris Quad being a cult, a gang, and a lot of other things, guys. We have seen some very weird stuff happen. Like people think that they are bosses whenever they are absolutely not bosses. And this is where things got twisted, turned because I had people emailing me, asking me who was the boss of Creek Squad and everything else, guys. There's no boss of Creek Squad. Ryan Upchurch is, that's his community name. Ryan Upchurch named his community Creek Squad, which is absolutely a family, guys. It is not a gang. It is not a cult. So... One more time, we're actually going to speak on that. We're going to get that clear, guys. But anyways, let's get right back to the video. And allegedly having problems with drug abuse. This is all allegedly. We, we really don't know what's going on. We, we might have an idea. But again, it's all speculations. But allegedly... But then again, do you really have an idea, J-Rod? You do true crime videos. Your nose normally don't go either which way. You see what I'm saying? But then again, it does because you're used to actually threatening women with guns and violence, J-Rod. Yes, you do. Anyways, guys, let's get right back to the video. This guy right here, which, again, I came across this video through my recommendations. I think this was like a day ago. Allegedly, this guy is a former Chris Quad member. Allegedly, this guy knows what's going on within the inner circle of Chris Quad. It seems that he's been having some kind of beef with Ryan Up Church for a long time. Again, don't. Now, J-Rod, let me kind of set this story to you, my friend. Dad Burn drew a picture of Ryan Upchurch because Dad Burn was this kind of fan that would watch him on TV, watch him on the phones, just like Ryan Upchurch's other fans, millions of fans. That's what this guy did, Johnny Gobble. But he drew a picture one day, and he absolutely wanted to give it to Ryan Upchurch, and he begged Ryan Upchurch for him to come to his house so he could absolutely hand it over to Ryan Upchurch in person. That's the story in a nutshell. Cree Squad, this guy was never a part of Cree Squad. I'm sorry. Never. And what you're about to speak on if all this stuff was absolutely 100% true, J-Rod, you would be right in the middle of everything that you just spoke on. 100%. See, this is whenever you go on and you are a YouTube channel, so you go on and you press forward with your journalist skills or whatever else it may be. We get this. 
But sometimes there needs to be a point to where we just sit back, we listen, and just zoop, keep our mouth closed and stay out of stuff, correct? Yeah. But now you go on and you make other videos about Ryan Upchurch, about the Kylie Rodney ordeal, about so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. We can go on forever, baby, if you understand my lingo. I would like to know, J-Rod, how you came about that you said it was on it was actually on your list of being watched. Suggestion list on YouTube. I understand I always get like the girls working out and stuff, and I'm just like, I'm not even interested, just done, you know. I get those too. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the video. Know nothing about the guy. Don't know nothing about Ryan Up Church. We just hear talking about it due to Ryan Up Church came to true crime to share his thoughts about the Kylie Rodney case. Left, came back. Left again, came back. Put a video, he's a winner. I don't know. I learned back in the days, the OGs used to say that that one guy that tells you he's a winner. And tried to show off and prove to everyone that he's a winner. And he always win. What? That absolutely made great sense, J-Rod. He's a winner, so he comes... Never mind, let's just get back to the video. He's actually the biggest loser. So guys, enough about my introduction. Let's listen to, um, I think his name is Dak Born Johnny Gobble. So let's listen to what this guy had to say again. He allegedly is a OG, former member of Chris Carr. So there you have it, guys. This is how J Rod got word, got new, news, got whatever else you want to call it, guys. About Dad Burn, Ryan Up Church, Creek Squad, the whole deal about hush money, blah blah blah, yada 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 with Patty Lynn and all this other stuff, guys. This is how J Rod absolutely heard of it. It was a suggestion on his playlist, on his YouTube playlist. Anyways, guys, I absolutely wanted to bring this to you guys because this proves a lot of things. And J-Rod, Dad Burn Johnny Gobble is not an OG of Creek Squad. Creek Squad is a family, not a gang. 